So does the new 25 watt Qi 2.2 standard make a difference in comparison to the old 15 watt standard when it comes to wireless charging battery packs? Because we all know that the heat absolutely destroys the performance for battery packs. And while raising the wattage to 25 watt, does the heat slow down the charging to the point where it would make more sense to get a G2 pack? Well, that's the main question that I had when testing out these two chargers. And today we're going to go over those tests to find out is it actually worth it? So if you know me, then you already know that I tried to test out every single Qi 2 or Qi 2.2 battery pack that comes out on the market and it looks like I found the best one. So today we're going to test out this Besu's Qi 2.2 25 watt 10k wireless charging pack versus the best performing Qi 2 battery pack from my testing, the ESR 10k pack. And this is probably the only YouTube video that's going to be testing out both of these chargers. So like the video if you want to help me out, but if not, that's cool. And if you know me, then you know that I like to get a little bit more in depth with my charging videos. So today we're going to do a full speed test, but we're also going to do a temperature test and a wattage test so we can get the full picture of the results of these chargers. All right, let's get into it. So this Besus charger is about $70 on Amazon right now, which is pretty pricey, but you are paying for that early adopters tax. In the front, it has a glossy plastic, which is dark blue, a shiny dark blue. And it looks like this is the only color that you can get right now. I would much rather prefer a matte black, but I guess we can't have everything, right? The back of the charger does have a soft touch plastic, which is perfect for gripping your phone or gripping the back of your case. At the bottom, you get a USB type C port and on the sides, you get the four indicator lights so that you can see how much power is in the charger and you get the power button as well. You don't get a LCD screen with this battery pack, so that could be a slight miss right there but you do get an attached USB type C port with this charger, which is a huge plus. Oh, hell yeah. It says that it is 45 watts when charging up a phone with the attached cord. But in this video, I'm just going to do a wireless speed test just for the sake of time. But if y'all want me to do a wired charging speed test as well, leave a comment down below. If I get enough comments, I'll definitely start implementing that in my videos as well. So this is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack. There is a lot of factors that goes into the actual size of the battery pack, but it's rated at 10,000 milliamps on the box. So I'm just gonna go with that quote. It has the Qi 2.2 wireless standard, which is the latest wireless standard, and it supports the other Qi 2 standards as well. It also supports a MagSafe. The size of the battery pack is pretty standard. It's in line with the other thicker 10K packs. It's not a ultra slim 10K pack like this NEU pack, which is honestly my favorite favorite pack still that's on the market right now and I'll talk more about why this is my favorite pack later on in this video but it is in line with other 10k thicker packs that's on the market so the size is pretty good and of course this is 25 watts so I'm very curious to see how fast this charge up the pixel and just how hot it gets because you know that is the most important part of wireless charging so you can skip to that part of the video if you like both of them are plastic all the way around so no metal components on either one and I I do want to point out that Banks has the best build when it comes to wireless chargers even though they're not featured in this video I still wanted to point that out they make the best built battery packs and the strongest magnetics the Besus does have a small USB type C cord attached to the charger and if you know me then you already know that I usually keep a tiny USB cord handy so that I could connect the charger to the phone and get the speeds of wired charging but get the versatility of a detachable MagSafe battery pack but I do want to point out that this Bastias charger doesn't have a kickstand, which is pretty interesting because these bigger 10K packs are not small enough to put in your pocket while charging your phone. But they work really well while having it on your desk as a phone stand. And this is what I do pretty much every day. So while I'm at work, I pretty much keep the charger on my desk like this as a desk stand. And when I do want to move around, I can just move it around wherever I please. So the ESR charger does have a kickstand and this is a very premium kickstand i would like to add it's built out of metal and it's very solid the esr charger also has an lcd screen which the basus does not so those are two points even though this is a cheaper pack so keep that in mind 
So I see that you're in the market of getting some nice wireless MagSafe battery packs to charge up your cell phone wirelessly. But if you need even more power or if you want to charge up a wider range of devices, then I highly suggest that you take note of this 65 watt GAN charger from MoveSpeed. And the first thing that I want to point out is that this charger has all the quirks and features of the other more expensive chargers, but at the same quality and at a fraction of the price. So this is a 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack and it has a great display on the front showing you just how much power you have currently on the charger. And there are retractable prongs for the wall charger so you can connect this directly into the wall which is very nice. Actually, I really like this feature and I've been using this more than I expected to. Another thing about this charger is that it, it has a retractable B Type-C cord built into the charger. So just like I said, it has all the features of the other more expensive chargers, but comes at a fraction of the price. And as you see, this cord does get pretty long and it even has a magnetic connection at the end so that the port will sit flush in the charger all the time. So you get the retractable Type-C cord and a Type-C port and a USB-A port so that you can connect connect to other devices. So this charger can help you charge up anything that you own from the small utilities like wireless earbuds all the way up to a light laptop. If you're interested, then check out the link down below and make sure to use the given code to get your discount. So now let's talk about the speed test. And I do want to point out that I test these in the most optimal conditions. So I keep my room very cold. And I also, I stop on the charger when the phone is at 5% because between five and 12% is when you're going to get the highest wattage, right? Then after 25%, the wattage will start to go down. And when the phone gets to about 80 or 70%, the wireless charge is going to slow down significantly. So I slapped on both the chargers when the phone was at 5% percent after 15 minutes basus got to 25 percent and the esr got to 21 percent after 30 minutes the basus got to 34 percent and the esr got to 36 percent after one hour the basus got to 64 percent and the esr got to 57 percent after one hour and 30 minutes the basus got to 87 percent and the esr got to 70 percent and after one hour and about 45 minutes the base is fully charged up the pixel 10 pro xl and it took the ESR about 2 hours and 15 minutes to fully charge up the Pixel Pro 10 XL. So there is quite a significant difference when it comes to the charging speeds as you see here. So this is pretty interesting. I guess we can confirm that the 25 watt charging does make a difference between a newer Qi 2.2 pack and an older Qi 2 pack. So now let's talk about those temperatures. So after about one hour, I took the temperatures of both the chargers. The Basus got to about 105 degrees, which is pretty hot towards the bottom of the charger. And then towards the top, it got to about 94 degrees. The ESR charger got to about 94 degrees at its peak, but it averaged around 90 degrees, which is pretty good. Actually, that's really good. And that's why I picked this charger because again, this was the best performing Qi 2 charger when running all of my tests. So it looks like the Basius does charge faster, but it does get hotter. Now for the recharging speeds for these chargers, the Basius does recharge at 30 watts. And that's really good because with that wattage, you can quickly top off the battery pack so that it can be ready and fully charged when you're ready to get out the door. The ESR recharges at about 20 watts, which is not bad, but it's not as good as 30 watts. And 10,000 milliamps is a lot of battery. So having the extra 10 watts does make a difference. Okay, so my favorite Qi 2 10K pack is still the NU P73, and that's because of the practicality of this charger. I did test this charger against the most famous Anchor 10K slim charger that video will be down below if you want to see that and the results were very similar it wasn't as good when it comes to speed and temperatures but it was very similar so that's very important to know but this charger is very slim you may mistake this as a 5k pack because it's so slim but this is actually 10k and i've done the testing it can fill up the phone all the way and also this is the most practical charger because it has a USB Type-C port on the side and another USB Type-C port on the bottom. So if you know me, then you know that I always advise to use a tiny USB Type-C cord when doing wireless charging because you get the full wattage of wired charging, but you get the versatility 
of a detachable MagSafe battery pack. And having that port on the bottom makes it easier and more usable for when you're having the small USB Type-C cord on the phone while you're using the phone. But also, if you want to use the battery pack as a nightstand, it's better to have the USB Type-C cord on the side so you can have the phone on the stand with the USB Type-C cord coming in through the side. And this is the only battery pack that I know that has both of these ports. So yeah, the practicality of this charger surely beats out all the other chargers and that's why this is still my favorite. All right, so there you have it, guys. Those are the results of the Besus 25 watt Qi 2.2 charger versus my top performing Qi 2 charger, the ESR 10K pack. And I was very curious to see if the 25 watt was actually going to make a difference, especially on a Pixel 10 Pro XL. And as you see here, it did. So shout out to Besus for this charger. But do keep in mind that this charger is about $70 on Amazon and you can get the ESR for $50 or even under because that does go on sale a lot so make sure to click the links down below to check out the current price of both of these chargers and if you want to see some cool tips and tricks on your android phone then check out this video right here and i will talk to y'all next time